And then you have a window over here that's at the front of your property. So you can open the window. This is fixed, of course. So these are the only two windows that you can open. You've got some interesting ceiling design as well. It's some cove lights. Abang, there's no fixture yet, so it's up to you what you want to put in there. Kubao, Quezon City. But first, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and click on the bell so you get notified for whenever we release new YouTube videos. We're on Facebook, so make sure you hit like and see first and follow us on Instagram at Rizello underscore official. There is a new Instagram notification icon in there, so it's pretty new, so you can try and check that one out or tap on that one. So my name is Julia and welcome to another Pre-Cello open house tour. So as you could tell, a lot of cars were passing by and that's because this is in a very convenient part of Kumbao. Main road siya actually, very convenient, especially for those who want to commute. The people that you hear though, that's the construction. <laughs> because as I mentioned, this is very brand new. Okay, so upon entering your main entrance, oh wait, correction, um, before you reach the main entrance, you have a two vehicle car port. So hindi na namin pinakita kasi may mga nakapark na kotse but trust there was a two vehicle car port in there. Then you reach when you reach your main entrance, you have your living spaces. So you have here your living area, perfect for your couch, your entertainment, um, preferably mounted on the wall. And then you can already see your dining area and your kitchen, but before that, check this one out. You have a powder room under the stairs. Two steps down. Okay, so now let's get on with the kitchen and the dining area. So we have an L-shaped counter over here, lots of modular cabinetry, all in a gray, like monochromatic tone, even your chandelier. And then, of course, this one is not included. This is because this is a model unit, so these are not included. But I mean, if you wanted to take inspiration from this, not a problem, right? Right next to your kitchen, you have your auxiliary kitchen or your service area. So you have a built-in sink, your water tank, and there's some provision for your washing machine so you can just move stuff around. And then this is also where your fire escape lands. And then right next, oh, well, okay, the curtain, but this is the staff quarter. So then I'll tweet what in bath. Okay. Before heading up the main stairs, it's also nice to appreciate the wood-like finish that they used for the windows, which match your stairs. <laughs> On the second floor, we only have two doors, so we're gonna go to this one first. Bedroom number one. So you have this much space. You have a medium dark flooring. They're tiles. They look like wood, but they're tiles. Then you have a gray or white ash wardrobe over here, so it's a nice contrast. Very clean walls, and then you have your darker flooring. You have a window over here that also has access to your fire escape if needed. And then a sliding door that leads to your ensuite, toilet and bath. With your water closet, sink, and 
shower area. And then across your main stairs <laughs> is bedroom number two or your master bedroom. So the first thing you will see is the sliding door to your left. So you have a walk-in closet and then the actual toilet and bath with your water closet, your sink, and your enclosed shower space. It's actually quite a big shower space. Then here you have the rest of the bedroom, so lots of space. You have more storage over here, more wardrobe space. Here you go. This is where your bed would go and then your entertainment because of the outlets. And then you have a window over here that's at the front of your property. So you can open the window. This is fixed, of course. So these are the only two windows that you can open. You've got some interesting ceiling design as well. It's some cool lights. Abang, there's no fixture yet, so it's up to you what you want to put in there. And that is it for the second floor. Let's head up the third. Oh, by the way, if you haven't already, make sure you click subscribe because we see you watching our videos and maybe you've forgotten to subscribe, so it's just a friendly reminder. Also, if you need help selling your property or if you know someone else who wants to sell their property, simply go to our website and look for the tab, Sell My Property. And top floor and the final bedroom. So again, you have this much space. It's pretty similar to bedroom number one. You have your wardrobe over there, a window over here, again with access to your fire escape. Except this time, there's no perimeter wall obstructing your view so you can see the rest of the neighborhood. And here you have, again, your ensuite to call it in bath. And then across this room, we have open space. But before that, we have a common toilet and bath. So, open space, basically as your family area. May mga outlet kayo on both sides. You have a lot of them, really. So it's up to you what you want to do with this. Could be your family area, as I mentioned. Could be your study area. It's up to you. But speaking of space, wait, let me start that. I'm gonna do balcony. So from here, you have sliding doors that lead out to a balcony. Very spacious one, mind you. You have your um, counter here with a sink and then drains on either side and provision for your washing machine. My outlet, although the water, eh, it's up to you if you want to put your laundry machine here or downstairs. Either way, you can hang your clothes, but this is at the front of your property, so personal taste man, if it's okay with you to have your laundry hanging at the front of your property. There is there is a trellis here though, with acrylic, so you're not going to have to worry about it getting rained on. And also, it's nice and high, very minimalist, very clean to look at. Okay, recap. I was going to mention sizes before I got distracted by how nice the balcony was. So depending on which unit you get, you're going to have anywhere between 160 to 186 square meters of floor area and then 63 to 72 square meters of lot area four bedrooms four toilet and baths and a two vehicle car port and again this is in Cubao. it's along a main road very convenient especially if you have family members who prefer to commute as in sobrang, sobrang convenient now for commuting and if you're anyone you know is interested in a place like this Send this video to them, or if you want to see it for yourself, send us a message. Or go to our website at www.presello.com. Invest in your future. Invest with us. Invest with Presello. Hey guys, if you haven't already subscribed to our channel, make sure you click here. And if you want to see more house tour videos, click right here. And we also have this new thing called Working Lunch with Priscilla, where I and a few random people talk about a few random things related to uh, real estate. So if you want to join in on the conversation, make sure you click right here. <laughs>